What's going on, everybody? Nick DiVirgilio at Sweetwater Studio A, hanging out with Frank Zumo. What's, What's going buddy? on, man? In town with some 41, back at Sweetwater again. It's great to have you. And you're sitting behind a killer SJC heirloom kit. Tell us about these drums. These drums are special to me because I have the prototype of this kit right. um, at my home in Los Angeles. And I'm in here recording um, songs from my solo record. And most of that record was played on, recorded with that um, prototype kit. Okay. So it's special to me. And this kit is very close to what I play and tour the world with, with Sum 41, mahogany shells, which I love. Yeah. And um, big drums, 24, 13, 16. This kit is amazing in the studio and it's incredible live. And like they really nailed it with this finish. This is a beautiful, very cool, rugged finish that there's what, three different? Three different colors, like a red, a yellow ish, ish. Those color and then this sort of green ish color, and because and the wood hoops look killer with yeah. the, those different all the different colors. It's nice, it's it's a really beautiful kit for live and the studio, and it really does work well in both applications. And you know, I've actually used my heirloom kit at you know big shows, mm. um, and it's delivered. And I was just telling you, like, half my kit was shipped to a different tour, and we did some warm up, some 41 shows. So I Frankenstein, I had half of my Obey kit and half of this heirloom kit together, and it worked. Nice. It worked great, it's just, it's a great kit, um, and it's really cool to be here using this kind of at the end of my record, you know, to see how far this line's come, and just to be back here with you guys in the studio that, you know, you showed me two summers ago, and I always had that in my head, like, I need to come and do something here, and it yeah. just couldn't have worked out easier by playing down the street here at your guys' venue, yeah. so. It's rad to be here. Thanks. I mean, we're super stoked to have you here, man. It's awesome. And you're right. Mahogany shells sound great in the studio. So, and we were just listening to the song and the playback of what you did. And the toms are huge. The kick drum's really punchy. It's nice, yeah. man. Now, let's quickly, because this is mainly about the drums, but let's talk about your other gear. You're, you're a Zildjian guy. You're a Remo guy. And a head drumsticks. Mm -hmm. How long have you been playing a head drumsticks? They were my first sponsor in 1996. Wow. I called them. I was in a cover band. And I was like, your stuff's great. And it's actually really saved my hands. Okay. They, they are really, um, have shock absorption and things so that the, you know, trauma to your hands isn't as bad. Right. And I hit so effing hard. It's like, w these sticks really help that. Um, and I'm not killing a million trees, so. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> how long do you have to change, how often, I should say, do you have to change the sleeves on the top, or do you? Um, right. I don't, okay. um, because I literally um, use a pair of night. Okay. And I bend them. Okay. And then I just, you know, and you can, throw them out to the crowd. I got but, you. I mean, I used to go through bricks of wood sticks. And being in the studio, you're playing just the perfect take, and your stick shatters, and you're just mm. like, ah. Oh. Oh, you, you know, so it's like, but just mainly, you know, I want to do this for a long time. So any way I can yeah. help my body do that, you know, these are. And it was mainly for street drum corps, because we're hitting kegs and tire rims. Sticks would explode in pieces. You know, these guys hang. They, yeah. they last the shows, you know. Yeah, that's awesome. Now, your Zildjian setup, you're playing K's here. I love these sweet K's uh, yeah. that you're using, but what do you use normally on your rig? For I got some everything, A's, okay. K's, um, effects line. Okay. I have pretty much the whole line in my live setup. Studio for personal stuff and some 41. We mainly just stick with K's. They're great in the studio. Yeah. Um, and I've actually just switched now live to big old 16-inch uh, K-suite hats. Nice. And they're working really yeah. good. I'm a um, fan of big hats so myself. this feels like a cocktail kit to me, like playing these little 14s and stuff, because I've been playing such big cymbals. Um, but yeah, these suites are really amazing cymbals, and you know, DW hardware, you can't go wrong sure, with Sure, yeah, it's, it's totally rugged. Rock solid. I have a giant rack system on my touring kit. Awesome. And heads, since you play hard, what do you normally use for your heads so, to make them last? The same exact studio heads I use live. They work in both applications. Uh, Emperor, yeah, coated Emperors on Toms, yeah. Emperor X on the snare, and I use, uh, P3s with black dots on my gong toms and kicks, okay. and and then clear ambassadors underneath. You're they work go. great. In nice. you know, we tried some different stuff live, and just we just kept coming back to these classic heads. You just yeah. can't go wrong. They with work them. all the time. Yeah. Yeah. And, and in the studio, we have everything wide open. We're not even using any dampening or anything. And it's just these, you know, drums are working really well in this room. I mean, this room is designed really well for drums. It sounds. It great does in sound here. great in here. Yeah. So let's get back to this SJC kit for a second, because you and Mike Chaperi work really well together, mm -hmm. bouncing ideas off of each other. Um, 
How cool is it to play this brand of drums? It's the best. Okay. It really is in every way. It's just, you know, the relationship, you know, it, and just the things that we can do. It's like anything is, anything you imagine can happen. And that's kind of been the fun thing. Like every tour cycle, how do we top this kid? Or, you know, how do we sonically do this? And it's just been such an amazing, you know, friendship, um, you know, with just everybody, you know, like I love going there and, and chatting with all the guys that make the drums and just geeking out on that stuff, you know, and it's just, it's, it really is. Everybody always says SJC family, like it, it's a thing. It really is. Um, you know, I mean, I was missing my kids on Halloween cause we were on tour in, in, uh, Boston and Mike took me out trick or treating with his family, you know, and his <laughs> kid. And cool. it was, it was, yeah. you know, that doesn't really happen right. in, in most companies no, and things, awesome. so it's, it's pretty cool. Well, would you play the drums a little bit for yeah. us? Let's do it. Yeah. It's awesome, man. Thanks so much for coming back to Sweetwater. Thanks for having me. Have best of luck on your show tonight and the rest of the tour. And best of luck on playing these drums for the for a long time to come. I know you guys have plans going overseas again. Your street drum course is still around, your mm -hmm. drum camp. So best of luck with all that stuff. Thanks, man. All right, man. Thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs>